Uh, Mr. For Richard, I don't know whether um, you, that is exactly what happened on the 20th of May 1972, as explained by Senior Barrister Ashu Emmanuel Cameroonians. Um, first, he establishes that um, President Ahiju uh, took a decision alone uh, to do this, and that Cameroonians just caught up and were asked to go to the polls. What, what are you teaching students about 1972, 20th of May? Thank you so much, Leonard. You see, it is very difficult to talk about 1972 without going back to look at what transpired in Fuma. Okay. Because we are going to, grief, we are going. I just, I, the, I want us yeah. everybody to to uh, to plant a foundation. We are going to go back to all of those things. Yeah. What I'm saying, to, why I say it's difficult to talk about 1972 without, without talking, going about. back to Fuma is because. The, the grief of the Federation was dark in Fuman. Okay. We know that it was in Fuman that um, the, the Federation was the federal uh, republic or the federal uh, ideology was endorsed, but it was still in Fuman that the grief of the Federation was dark. And I will, I will give you a few reasons to explain, to explain why. First of all, let me um, try to correct something that the senior barrister mentioned there. Uh, the senior barrister made mention of the fact that there was uh, a single ballot paper mm -hmm. uh, in the, during the 1972 referendum. And you know, um, this is a platform where we try to uh, educate Cameroonians. And uh, if we want to tell Cameroonians what transpired, we should uh, be able to tell them the truth of what really happened. Um, you understand that I am, uh, I, I am one of the, the critics of the 1972 referendum, yeah. Yeah. and uh, I am also a critic of a unitary state. Yes, but because, because as SDF, you, you are going for a federal structure. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. I'm also a member of the Cameroon Federalist mm -hmm. Groups and Activists. Mm -hmm. So if, if what I'm saying does not mean that I'm endorsed the unitary state, okay. but at least if we want to talk to Cameroonians, we should let them know what actually transpired. What happened is that there were two ballot papers. One carried the yes... And in translation, we. And the other carried the no, and in translation, no. And so Cameroonians were expected to choose one of these ballot papers and put it in an envelope and cast. So if you refuse to endorse uh, the abolition of the federal system or refuse to endorse the unitary system, mm -hmm. then you take the no, no ballot paper and put it in the envelope. If you support it you take the we yes ballot paper and you put in that so what i see many people do with this uh what is of course what the senior barista is doing is to isolate that ballot paper which says we yes and they're brandishing it to say oh no this is the ballot paper and the only ballot paper that took place i have had the opportunity to talk with eyewitnesses, people who participated in that referendum, people who are not politicians, I mean old fathers who participated in that referendum, and they have confirmed to me that they were actually two ballot papers. In fact, when I, I've also been to the uh, archives in Boya, at, uh, at Boya, the National Archives, and there also there is clear indication, you will find that there is indication that there were actually two ballot papers. Now, that aside, Coming back to the issue of the 1972 referendum or the, the federation and uh, what transpired in 1972. So in 1972, what happened is that first, even in Fuman, Ahijo had never been a believer of the federal system of government. Okay. We understand that in Fuman, the only reason why he gave into the idea of federation was because he wanted to please Foncha and his delegation. He, had, he never believed in it. His advisor, the French advisor who was with him, never believed in federation. They were centralists. They believed in the central uh, system of government. And for them, the federal system of government was just 
something to lure southern Cameroonians into the union, to woo them into the union. They never believed in it. And that is why right inside of that Fumban conference, right inside that conference, they started nursing the seed for the abolition of the federal system. How? The French version of that federal constitution indicated that they that was supposed to be a temple the federation was supposed to be an experimental an experiment and that it was supposed to be a temporal measure that same thing was not included in the english version uh -huh. it was only found in the french version and then in that french version they included a paragraph that said the authentic version of the constitution which means the english version was not the authentic version so you see from that level that there was no good faith in the Yaoundé delegation. There was bad faith. There was no sincerity. Mm -hmm. And so there was the determination right at that point, right in Fumban, mm -hmm. to destroy the Federation. Okay, to destroy the Federation. But 